In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can take video and make it the font face in your titles in CyberLink projects. We're going to show you a short example and then we'll show you a technique for doing that. I have in my media room three separate clips. Two are video and one is a still image. I'm going to take the still image and drag and drop it into track number one. And then I'm going to take a video and use it there as well. We'd like to illustrate the ups and downs of using this project with different kinds of backgrounds. So we're going to look at two of them. The next thing we want to do is we want to take the track that we want our title to be on and put it in a higher numbered track. I'm going to take this video of starts out with water. I'm not going to put it on track two. I could, but I'm going to place it on track three. In a bit you'll see why I'm going to do it there. So here I have a video and it starts out basically with a lot of water. That's going to be what I'm going to fill the letters of my title with. So whatever element you want to be the face of the font that's the one that you put on the highest track. So with that track selected, I'm going to click on my Tools button above the timeline and choose Mask Designer. That will open up all the masks that I have to use. I'm going to click on the Alpha button at the bottom to create a custom mask from a title. I'll just click on that. And it starts out with the default My Title. I can change a few things about it. I'm going to change the font face. I'll type the first letters of impact and change it to that. And then I'm going to change the text to say gone fishing. And then we'll position it about where I want it. I need to scale it back a little bit. We'll try something like maybe 65 for font size. And we'll recenter it on the bottom. And here I have my fonts. I can do some other things with it if I wish, but this is a good example. So now I simply click on OK. And now I have the letters appearing with the video. Let's play it in this screen. And we see we're in front of a still image. But when we play, we notice that we have the actual video of that part there. Now you notice when we switch to the other video as the background video it gets very hard to see. So I'm going to show you another technique you can use to enhance it when that happens. Again on a back background it obviously is best but we'll click on OK and we'll save that. Now if I want to make it easier for me to see the letters regardless of the background what I'm going to do is use a color board. So I'm going to click into my media area, click on color boards, and I'll select one. It really doesn't matter which one for now. I'll put that on track number two. That's why I put the text on track three. And now we're going to edit the color board. So I stretched it out for duration, and I'll double click on it. I want to turn off maintain aspect ratio on the object settings. That will allow me to make it something that's shorter or taller. I'll take this and drag down. I'm going to change the opacity. I'm going to back it down so I can see my text behind me. And we'll put it right about here. And we'll also change the width as well as the height and adjust it any way we like. Now that works pretty good. I also will work on the opacity again in a moment, but I want to change the color. Let me show you a couple things you can do that, that help with the color. So I'm going to click on OK for now. And if we move back to the beginning of my project, we'll see that Gone Fishing has an area around it there. Not necessarily needed, but when I get into the other part of it, I do need a background. Now that's not the background I'd like. So what I want to do is on the color board is right click on it and then I choose change color. 
Now I have two options, from Color Selector or Preview. Let's try from Preview in this case. When I do that, it allows me to pick from the background stuff I have here to see if I can get something contrasting. Let's try the yellow on the hillside here and click on OK. And now it changed the color here. Uh, this is when I would go back into the properties of it by double clicking on the color board. And then I can take my opacity value, it's at 70%, and I can go either up or down on it and see what it looks like here. So now I have a nice gone fishing there. Let's see if that will work on my on my other element. I'll press the home key. It works here as well. So when I play the entire clip in context, I have my moving video behind the letters and I have a color board there to make it stand out no matter what happens to be in the scene behind it. That's one way to put video as the font face for text in your project in CyberLink PowerDirector.